Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play World of Waves 2 as Japan, episode number 71. Just 71 episodes. What? <laughs> that is insane. Anyway, we have a really good attack going in right now. Um, I, th I suspect there's only one battleship, one carrier we're up against, but if that, even if that is, it's only that. We have at least obliterated both of them. So, yeah, we'll get in and we'll try to sink anything else we can, including what I presume is a destroyer, but even if it's a solitary cruiser, so long as it's not a battle cruiser, we should be able to manage to take out these uh, pursuing ships. Looks like possibly destroyers. You know what, let's just, we're going to gamble here. We're just going to head straight on, straight on in on them. And I haven't really kind of checked to see what all is going on here, what, what the heck's going on anymore. Mainly do we have ships, or sorry, aircraft that are, that should be readying. It looks like the answer to that is yes. And not only that, but do we also have aircraft already ready that can launch? And the answer again looks like yes. So let's um, do this in two stages then. Let's grab some of the... I'm going to take some of these fighters. I don't think that cap is going to be that necessary, but we're leaving a lot of fighter groups back just in case that is. And I think that's it. Okay, so we'll just ready these. Torpedo. We have no torpedo. We have no torpedoes left, so I think we have to switch this group to heavy bombs. And yeah, okay. And I don't even know how many bombs we carry. Do we carry an infinite number of bombs? Maybe. Selecting our target, I mean, again, I think that everything's contained within this base. We just kind of select somewhere over here. I'm going to let them choose any priority target at this point, because I think the main ship's already going down. Uh, yeah, we'll launch the strike as well. Wait, we don't have anybody selected. <laughs> yeah, that's... We sh probably should not have readied them. We probably should just launch them immediately. So we have ready, 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 ready. Okay, now these can go over here and launch strike. Yes, I'm sure I do not want to coordinate, and they will still land during the day. Okay, so that's good. So we're gonna turn in, assuming that we are gonna be able to outgun whatever this is. It's probably a good time to go squad max. And face the foe. So they're probably launching torpedoes right now means we want to turn back in. Probably wanted to turn completely away, but looks like this is going to work out just, just fine as well. Our slow descent, uh, not descent, but retreat. I lost the word I was looking for. You know, our slow sauntering out of the bay. It was a tactical retreat. I mean, it wasn't really a, ret a retreat. It was really a tactical decision. But I think that that is uh, paying dividends for us. We would like to engage the Chauncey now. If you wouldn't mind avoiding overkill too much. Okay, the Henley is also... F Do not launch... Good point, actually. it's I will, I will sacrifice that one torpedo to prevent overkill from my other destroyers. Now, we'll have to remember that we're not launching torpedoes, but I think that'll be pretty easy to do. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of overkill. Looks like we finally got a hit. Okay, catapult. Let's say no. I don't really think we need to scout anything else. Okay, wow. Oh, John Jumaru is hit by a torpedo. See, that's that's a... This is crazy. Is this ship not sinking? It's sinking. How the hell? It could have been like a fi like a parting blow. So John Jumaru is just going to come to a dead stop immediately. Okay. And then we'll let the other, like, you guys should actually hold fire. <laughs> Another thing I don't like to do, because I won't remember, but... I, I don't know if I really need to save that much ammunition. Anyway, let's continue to get these guys, the light cruisers, in here. This is their job, after all. Okay, looks like we've already sunk the Indiana. We sunk two heavy cruisers. We sunk the destroyer. We had two, I mean, it's crazy, because we had two submarines in the bay. Coastal ones of all things. And we are still no hunt Chauncey. Yeah, that's the good one. We're hitting them with four inch guns, which is not. Whoops, no, not you. You guys keep going. You go this way. 
Chauncey, that's, that's good. Okay, I actually want to turn off reports now. And there is an option to do that somewhere. There it is. It was getting a little chaotic on the screen, trying to read through all that. Yeah, it looks like mostly destroyers here left, so we're gonna have to watch out. I mean, light cruisers technically are the counter to destroyers, although sometimes, you know, you get hit by torpedoes so often, I don't really know if that's realistic. <laughs> Having such a high hit rate torpedoes, but hey, I'll take it when, uh, when I'm on the delivering side of things. Ooh, interesting. So we do have something limping back here. And we do have enemy aircraft approaching. Really wish I could jump back to these guys, but I can do it manually, I guess. Okay, so there it is. And we do have some amount of heavy anti-aircraft here, which is good. Um, they are currently launching, otherwise I would... Oh yeah, <laughs> speaking of, I didn't make any changes over here. So we do have two that are ready. Might as well go in, kill whatever else is there. So, strike exceed, okay, that's fine. We can thin it down a little bit. Just get rid of the 17 torpedo bombers. We'll send them in in a second attack. Again, same kind of idea here. Just go in and pick off whatever you can. Launch strike. Yes, I'm sure. Just go in piecemeal. Okay, so let's see if this is going to be a big deal for us. I know that we have a nice cap in the area. I mean, look at all these fighters. We also have our a uh, little bit of support from the light cruisers. And these have... No, these are not very good. Oh, they have seven. I mean, they have something, but it's almost nothing. Nothing of real consequence. But maybe it's better to say. Um, if you guys are going to... Oh, you are going to be turning north. Okay, wow. Here they come. We did destroy a heavier... Uh, an anti we destroyed an aircraft with our heavy anti-aircraft guns where our cap is still attacking and damaging their dive bombers which is good okay this is a CL line for San Francisco which supposedly has heavy damage that's a hell of a light cruiser too 9100 tons 31 knots 88 aircraft? No, I mean, apparently this is a bug, thank you. Somebody in the comments section reported that the aircraft is whatever was, like, the, the previous one of your friendly aircraft, um, sorry, ships that you selected, I guess. Which is unfortunate, because I guess you would still know the aircraft complement of some, of some enemy vessels. But maybe I misunderstood. 30 mines, I mean, this is a great ship. Well, we would be very happy to put this one under. And although we're not really equipped to do so, we're, I mean, it's light cruiser versus light cruiser at this point, it's even fight. And Chauncey, on the other hand, this is much more what we'd like to face. It has three four-inch guns. Yeah, we're not worried about their guns, that's for sure. We're gonna do a little bit of erratic maneuvering here just to throw off any potential torpedoes that are inbound. Speed up the destroyers a little bit since... Oh, yep, we got to Yorktown. That's good. This is obviously already a very successful attack. Do I want to pick up... Now, the way I have to think about this is... Like, there's three different balancing elements here. One, it's... Like, from a role-playing standpoint, I like the idea of picking up survivors. Although you might not it's not a realistic situation. I think people will be doing that in the middle of a battle, picking up... I mean, we're in the, you know, in gun range of enemy ships. Uh, probably wouldn't be slowing down to pick up survivors, especially of the enemy in that situation. So there, there, anyways, this is a role-playing aspect of it. There's the points aspect of it. Do we want it? Like, will we gain points enough that it'll matter? Or, I mean, okay, that's, that's actually... Both of the other things, two of the three things were just going to be related to points. Or on the other hand, like, does the is this battle going to be enough for points? So it's it's also about points. Is this battle going to be enough of a boost to our point situation that we don't expect we'll need the additional points that'll, you know, 
we're going to risk something to pick these guys up or possibly lose extra points with those destroyers doing something else. So I'm going to say no, but I'm not going to say to all because we may want to come back and help with that. Oh boy. But if this gets to be a thing... Yeah. Flatten out again, I guess. And Chauncey's finally going down and we've switched fire over to the walk who also reports heavy damage. So Chauncey reporting being completely sunk. Yeah, so we should actually manually switch fire to her. Good. And if we can, we'd like to get our destroyers on the light cruisers, which is, again, and this is the opposite of what you'd want normally, but in Rule the Waves, torpedoes are just so powerful. And our destroyers are at least decent at taking out destroyers, other destroyers. Um, yeah, we'll we'll stop our restriction not to fire, even though that means they probably are going to engage the Chauncey, which I don't want. Unnecessary evil at this point, just to keep, keep them firing at maybe the right targets. The walk is taking a lot of hits here, that's good to see. What is this, two other destroyers? I mean, we also have fighter or bombers inbound, right? 15 torpedo bombers. Others, perhaps. Um, if you guys are not in the middle of pursuing a course, you are both pursuing. Okay, you're done with your course. So let's have you just head south and even southwest. Same with you guys. You're going to head, like, pure west as soon as I can. Oh, okay, San Francisco really found the range on that last one. Now, Ujiri is a great vessel herself. It almost matched in terms of armor. Not quite matched in terms of armament. We're basically missing one triple turret that uh, San Francisco has. Those Americans, they can afford everything. Six torpedoes, is that also our situation? Yeah, we have eight, so we're slightly better off in that aspect. Yeah, we'll turn this around. San Francisco has proven her worth. We're going to let the airplanes deal with this. So orders are pull back out. Yeah, we'll see if we can maybe land some hits. There's another light cruiser over here. Can you, I don't think you can focus on light cruisers, so we'll just, we're done here. Chun Chun Maru is clear of flooding. So we'll have her saunter on out at a measly little six knots. Okay, no, I'm not seeing any hits. Did I miss a report? Hmm. No. Oh, okay, there it is. Okay, so good. this is good. We're just going to send all those aircraft in. Yeah, now we can say yes to all because we're retreating and I think it's going to be less of a hassle. Okay, good. And I don't even think we should risk any losses in terms of aircraft by targeting... Oh, God. Yes to all was not what I wanted. <laughs> and we're getting some work done with the aircraft. Okay, it's just carnage. We've sank everything in here. Hey, this is kind of cool. I didn't think about this, but we have the, we have the advantage of having sunk the entire f surprise attack fleet that we went after, basically. But also having the advantage of not having completely crippled the Americans, not that that's, wow, what's going on here? Not having completely crippled the Americans um, for like the war. So like the real Pearl Harbor was supposed to cripple the American forces for the start at least. And we're gonna have the advantage of still having, I mean the advantage, it's a disadvantage, but for fun it's an advantage of still having to fight Pretty powerful, I mean, an extremely powerful. Oh, good. Landed a bomb hit. Oh, man. I really hope that they target the. Well, is that the San Francisco they're targeting? I don't even know. Another bomb hit. Maybe we're well enough equipped at this point to go in and start. I mean, the bombers have gone in. Whoa, look at. Look who's arriving here. It's the battleships. <laughs> There's the slight possibility that we will get hit by a mine if we proceed, so I'm gonna pull back. 
a few destroyers. I mean, we're going to let some slip through the cracks here. Just because it's a little bit too risky to engage, in my opinion. And we're getting a lot of work done anyway. That's a lot of... I mean, torpedo bombers taking runs at destroyers is amusing to me. Okay. So we'll pull back out. Basically, right, right on in, right on out. Kind of weird graphical glitch there. It's bothering me. There we go. Um, what is this? So there are a few destroyers left. <laughs> they decide to try to play. I it it's very possible for me to just no 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 don't touch no, 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 What are you doing? Oh, the Ujiri. I don't know what she's doing. So Chunchai Maru needs to slow back down. And I think we're gonna have you actually go this way and head back in. Were you reattached? You did, okay, good. Okay, it's over. So we only lost one submarine. They lost a battleship, a carrier, two heavy cruisers, three of their four light cruisers, and four of their nine destroyers. It's a pretty good day's work, all in all. Aircraft details, okay, I'm not, I guess I'm not gonna be interested in looking through all that. Let's look here. So the Indiana was 41, 42 basically, 42,000 tons. Holy cow, eight 16 inch guns. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. She took 19 torpedo hits. That's <laughs> no coming back from that. <laughs> okay. Um, the Yorktown took nine torpedo hits. Holy cow. Another no coming back from that. Only carries 60 aircraft. Okay, so the Americans might have some lighter 1938 design. Yeah, she's 23,000 tons, so she's heavy enough to carry more. She's not designed to do that, I guess. Uh... That's promising. It means we have a chance of winning the air battles. At least even to even carriers. Which we can't guarantee. Okay, well, um, let's end that battle. Let me make sure to readjust the screen here, even though we'll probably be... Uh, put this as surprise. We'll probably be going back into a battle pretty quickly. Good start, though. 21,000 victory points to zero. That's the way I like it. Just like the song says. Well, uh, I know that we don't have much money, but if we have any money, I would really like to invade Guam. Can I invade? Looks like I can. Yeah, I can invade the Philippines as well. Uh, value five, batteries two. You won base. Okay, so let's invade Guam first. It's only worth one point versus five. Okay, well, then the Philippines is a better target. We'll just do this. Yikes! How do we. Yikes. Okay, we'll have enough money to do it in one more turn. Uh, yeah, that's, that's rough. Um, I still want to do it this turn, though. So we're just going to do it, and we're going to take the money loss. The Japanese emperor will understand. Sacrifices must be made, including to our budget. It's all in the name of victory. Glory and honor. Other fancy buzzwords. Okay, so turn off naval invasion range now that we've set our target. So anything in Southeast Asia is a viable target, which is good to know. I don't think we have any means, and we don't, of reaching the Central Pacific, which means our war goals for this are just to conquer Guam and um, the Philippines. Sounds familiar. <laughs> we can go to a stalemate victory after that. I mean, we can go to a... Uh, yeah, we can just negotiate peace terms after that. Yep. Ah, no, don't continue. That's That's a different thing. I thought I already set trade protection. Did I do that in one of the alternate timelines or something? All right, well, we're set there. 
59 of 20. I always, I, I don't know why, I always try to grab triple. By the end of the war, you might be at less than triple, you might be at double. But, okay, this is just a coastal raid. Oh, I, I'm, just, I'm a big dummy. We gotta pull our fleet out of the Central Pacific. In the meantime, we will attack. How are you gonna attack? Oh my gosh, our medium bombers have some insane range. These are the ones from ta from Taiwan reaching to the middle of the Philippines. I, I mean, I feel like we're really playing as the Japanese and these are some some Japanese naval bombers who they did have some insane range. Okay, so what is this? Our target is here. Sink any two ships and we only have the, our old ass light cruisers, of course. Well, that's not particularly promising, but we'll do our best. Oh, can you fix the screen? I wonder, I always wonder why the battle generator starts us oriented a particular way. Like, would we have encountered people if we had gone south? I don't know. But we just need to sink any two targets. I mean, any two ships. Oh, the difficulty is now becoming apparent. We have to do it at night. Okay. Not ideal. Get up to 18 knots. These are the older ships, so I mean, this is kind of funny. We can basically revisit the harbor. <laughs> oh, radar! Oh my! Oh, how the war has changed! Do they know that they're being... I feel like they know that they're being chased. Do merchant ships have... <laughs> Radar? I don't think so. That was one hell of a turn. Did you see that? In one minute, this guy went 180. Okay, please do not launch torpedoes. Okay, pretty sure she's going down. Awesome having radar, though. We can get our two ships and get out of here and pray that the next month will give us a, a better mission. That's the enemy fleet. We can kind of choose whether we want to engage or not, or even better, even better, we can just send our destroyers at like flank speed over on a, an attack mission. So let's have the mother fleet, which is our light cruisers, this thing is moving extremely fast, by the way. Wait, no, I'm only moving 18 knots. Let's go up to 20. All right, we'll come back for this ship later. We really want to track these ships for the moment. This is so cool. I feel like I'm sneaking in on my prey. Okay. Prepare torpedo launching. We're actually launching. We're launching at them. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, what is it? Why, why, why? Oh, I hate that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hate that. Oh my gosh, I hate that. It was like perfect, I could have micromanaged, but no, the stupid game. <sighs> Had to do that stupid thing where it goes like four minutes in a row and let's just start launching torpedoes at, at every, at everything, at anything. Just put some torpedoes down. Okay, you can't. And you can't. 
Right, okay. Fair enough. Okay, we are taking some hits here, but we're going to continue to launch torpedoes. Some aim for the front one, yeah. That's better, I think. Front one again. Front one. And whatever is available, so the rear one in that case. Some good torpedoes. That, that looks like some good torpedoes. This one might be... Kind of like that angle. What is that compared to? It's probably dead on. Well, the dead on angle could be interesting too. So let's do that. Just launch all torpedoes. If we get some hits, good, fantastic. But if we don't, pretty much the same actually. But they, they, I, they think that they might curl back towards me. So I'm gonna start taking 47. 150, that's better. I want higher numbers, essentially. Because if they do curl back towards me, I want things firing at higher numbers. 141 looks good. Okay, fair enough. We're doing a lot of, you know... Oh, okay, yeah. That's still good. Let's get out of there, though. Unless, do we want to fight with our light cruisers? These are nothing but a bunch of destroyers, right? Well, that's just going to be a death trap for our... Can we just manage to hit something? Like, look at all those torpedoes! <laughs> it's like a wave of torpedoes. Oh, yeah, we got two hits in. That's fantastic. We can have our destroyers come back in a moment. Um, we only have one torpedo... One ship, I should say, with torpedoes left. We'll turn off our torpedo launching. So we'll actually restrict torpedo launching because I don't want to launch the last ones willy-nilly. So only two torpedo hits in that, but honestly, I would expect at least one of those to result in a kill. So we'll just kind of prowl around here, see who is wincing in pain and who's... Yeah, we got one straggler. Let's go after the straggler. <laughs> so cool. Radar is very helpful, huh? Boy, that... that Wait, is this actually a light cruiser? Medium guns? I think it is. And we're getting our four inches deep inside of her. Oh my gosh. Uh, yeah, we are landing shells to good effect. I think this is a fine target to lay our last torpedoes in. And then we'll just pull back having sunk our two ships. Or just missing, that's also a possibility. Considering it was not a moving target and we launched a spread of four, that's very difficult, but not impossible as we've discovered. Okay, so let's slow down to 20, which is gonna match our cruiser pace. Even slowing our cruisers down a little bit, we want them to have the juice. So I'm assuming that we'll get a message about being you know, satisfying, okay, and there's our merchant ship as well so we're she's not not even she's gonna get away from this and you're not far okay good so this is where we go in and just take her down and that should be ship number three for us and i'm gonna say that's a successful raid and now i'm just trying to mentally make note that i need to Make sure to pull my all my fleet out of the Central Pacific when this battle ends. Yep, keep going. So she must be sinking because we're not even attacking her anymore. Alright, well we got the two ships and I know that we did a lot of damage to that light cruiser. Maybe not enough. With radar I feel pretty confident moving forward. We got a Big heads up about where the enemy destroyers are, which is, yeah, it's huge. So we just wait to see if we get another radar contact or not. This is, I love radar. This is so cool. We've really entered a new era. Can you imagine if the Japanese employed radar more in World War II? I mean, I don't really want to think about it because I'd like to think that they weren't 
weren't on the right side. War is always terrible, but sometimes there is a right side that you might find yourself rooting for. Mm, yeah, I don't think we're gonna get no more nibbles on the on the line there. So we'll just ultra fast away. Launch search planes. I'm gonna say no, just because they're gonna slow us down when we have to recapture them, and we're we're out of here before the aircraft can come. So what we'll do is we'll get you guys to go back under AI control, so I don't have to think about you. Yeah, they're actually shooting down some stuff, whatever. So we're gonna have a few losses here thanks to uh, the aircraft situation. It's possible, I guess. Oh yeah, we have reports of what? Two light cruisers up there. Well, we're not gonna go after that. Did the medium bombers managed to? Good on them. We are just gonna hightail it out of here. Mission accomplished. All right, so we did not kill a light cruiser, although there were two. And we did not, I, did that heavy cruiser take a destroyer? I mean, a d torpedo? No. Okay, so we hit the same one with both torpedoes. That was already going down before we came back. The almond made it back to port, 1,500 tons. So she only got hit by six light guns. She took a lot of damage for that. Um, yeah, well, it's still mission accomplished, success. And now let's make sure to pull our fleet out of the Central Pacific. Uh, trouble reaching her design speeds. Well, that's really unfortunate. Oh, oh my gosh, we did it already. Oh, that, that was a really good turn. Invasion has has really landed, and on top of that, we cleared a minefield as well. Um, we sank five enemy merchants, and they sank five of ours, but we did sink two of their submarines. I think we'll go to fleet support, honestly. I'm not expecting to bring the U.S. to the knees from a merchant standpoint. I feel like that's like a fool's errand. So this will be the first time we're trying to use our, our submarine. Well, hey, I'm just following the historical... <laughs> IJN Doctrine, which was fleet support for carriers. I mean for submarines So we'll do that. Um, we have a little bit of money I assume because no invasion. Yeah, so who's the closest to finishing? Let's get you out resume construction. It looks like we're gonna be able to do two of them Oh, yeah, these are the destroyers. So these guys can resume no problem. Let's resume this one as well That's fine. We can handle that and now before I forget Central Pacific, I'm just gonna sort by location, get all these to move. I don't know how much space we have in Southeast Asia, but I guess I will move them there. I'm not expecting there to be a lot in Northeast Asia. Yeah, US has one cruiser there. And they do have a lot in Southeast Asia. They don't have, oh, I don't have anything. Holy cow. I might wanna rotate the fleet that's in Southeast Asia over to the South Pacific. Although, I mean, there's not a great reason for me to do that. So let me just see who's in the South Pacific, right? I mean, uh, in Southeast Asia right now and see if that we wanna do that or not. Southeast Asia has, yeah, I think we do, honestly. Or maybe we can keep the, well, at least move the Kashinos out because I don't want them in the same fights. I think it's okay if we put the Miobus on either trade protection We'll put them on trade protection. And the Kashinos really should be going to Northeast Asia. Do we have any Northeast Asia cruisers? Any CLs? We do. But they're they're working up. Okay. I don't think it makes sense to put the Otago on trade protection, but may you know what? Let's just do it. Why not? Um and may I think basically everything else is gonna be kinda like things that well, the Yukazis are, those are old, so they're probably there for real, but, and the Akakazis. So we'll put the Yukazis on trade protection as well. Um, actually, no, 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 I don't want to do that. Well, this is trade protection. I want submarines, um, anti-submarine ships. I mean, they only have 15 submarines. I don't have to worry about that. So we have a lot of active fleet destroyers with a lot of ASW that should prevent any kind of submarine torpedo events. That's the, the math of it, at least, as far as I know. Okay, Shinigami is in uh, Northeast Asia as well. So yeah, using the Piransoko, the old, old, old Piransoko, the Otago, for my trade protection, I might. Def I think you can kind of scare off raiders that way. 
Although, I mean, I should. I assume I'm just carrying them off. <laughs> Almost no chance we actually sink anything with those kind of speeds. Anyway, um, that means Southeast, Pasa uh, Southeast Asia. Do these guys move to the South Pacific? The Koshinos, I'm still saying yes, absolutely. Let's see what else is there. There's a lot there. Yeah, I guess the main, oh, I was hitting enter, not shift, whoops. Okay, so the main issue is gonna be my Obus, Gachimuchis, yeah, did the Gachimuchis move? I think so, I honestly do. And if that's the case, we need to move some destroyers with them. And probably at least the light carries. Let's just move the entire carrier complement as well. Or should I move some? Nah, I think I'll just do this. Nah, you know what, I'll leave the light carriers. Just move the other carriers. Chunchamarus can stay with the Sai. We need more, we need more destroyers though. We have Hainamis. Okay, these guys are fine to go as well. Let's move this entire... Oh, they're already in. They're already in there. Okay, so we'll, yeah, we'll move this group then. So uh, the surprise attack, when the carriers move into that bat zone, they actually move. They're not just borrowed from the region. Which is good, actually, because <laughs> we probably were way over the limit in Central Pacific already, and you can see that yeah, we will, we're, we're happy to pull ships out of there as quickly as possible. Plus, nothing was happening over here. So, do they even have a fleet there? They certainly do. Would have been nice to get a battle in there while we still had a chance. In fact, they don't have, they have one carrier and we have zero. It would have been great to have like an old time, one of those old time slugfests. Not, not the case this time, but that's fine. Hopefully next time. Okay, battle. Yeah, obviously we accept anything in support of land combat. So this is a coastal raid, it is, and we have, ooh, okay, at least we have our better heavy cruiser. And the Sapporo also helping here. This is very interesting. Let's turn you guys off of scouting. Support, line ahead. And you guys are on screen, and you are gonna be on support, I guess. Okay. So, same kind of idea here. I'm gonna move along this path for longer, although they did get us into, I think it probably, we probably avoided trouble last time, but this is a, I'm willing to take on, well, I'm willing, really, I guess I'm just willing to take on whatever. Let's set, before we have a, an opportunity to mess things up here, let's set our scout planes on a particular, that's not gonna matter, but I think we'll go zero, Maybe zero to 90. Zero, 105. Maybe 10 to 105, this looks fine. So one, two, three, four, five scout planes. Do we have five scout planes? I'll say okay just for a moment here, but let's, let's look at how many scout planes we have. Do you not have any? Does it not show me? Oh gosh, come on, I guess I can just, yeah, how do I do this? Um, bring up the menu maybe? Oh, I can do it this way. Okay, we have two, okay, that's it. <laughs> All right, we have two scalp lens. Um, well, in that case, I guess I want to scout. We only have two. Keep in mind, we only have two. Probably 30 to 55, one, two. Seems okay to me. I mean, whatever. I, I guess we probably won't even search in that case. We'll just use radar. No search means we won't have to slow down. With only two search planes, whoops. With only two search planes, I don't think we do anything. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm just gonna say no scout. Okay, so let's move then. And I'll get us up to 20 knots as well. I think we will move towards that dot, but again, this is one of those situations where I'm not scared. Oh, wait. I want you on AI control though. 
Just so I have to move less people. Ah! Ah, I had paused. I wasn't... Well, nothing happened, basically. Actually, I see it's 40 minutes already. Wow, this episode has kind of flown by. Um, It's a pretty quick battle, or at least it could be. So I think we'll just let our radar hopefully guide us. That's not good. Okay. Now things are complicated. If this is an enemy, we're in big trouble. Who's not? Who is our radio radar operator? Doesn't look like it is. I'm pretty much putting all my cards on the fact that this is a merchant ship. By preemptively disabling, yeah, it is. Okay, good. Or it's a corvette, which is also fine because corvettes don't have torpedoes. So we'll count that as one of our one of our kills. We need two. Mission success is pretty important. Wow, it's already dead. <laughs> okay, everyone back to AI control. And where's our radar operators, huh? Everyone has at least tier one radar. Because <laughs> I, I mean, that we gave out radar to everyone, including definitely including my heavy cruisers. And moving 20 knots, I mean, I think at speed your radar operators can have a harder time, but I don't think that 20 knots is that Shouldn't be the the breaking point. Weird that my um, ships are actually lagging behind as well. And it looks like it's going to be morning pretty quickly here. So we're going to be up. Wow, we have not been doing a good job of scouting with radar. Luckily for us, we're going to be able to kill this and then get on our merry way. Okay, just have this guy hold fire for 10 minutes. His ammunition is the most important in my opinion. Oh, come on guys, I thought I told you not to launch torpedoes. Oh, the Sapporo. What? Wait. No, they're both capable of they're both capable of making good speed. All right, fine. You you overkilled the crap out of it. That's wonderful. We really sent a message. So you guys are support. That's fine. But then for you, I actually want you guys to be maybe scout again. Scout. Yeah, I controlled. I want you to go in front of my heavy cruiser for crying out loud. Okay, there's our objective. Do we want to stick around? What the hell's going on here? Oh, that is a... that They went to screen formation, obviously. That's a very wide screen. Wish you guys were using your radar. Boy, that would be great. I think we can still prowl around a little bit. And changing course like we did means that we maybe are not going to be as visible to aircraft, or at least they won't be able to identify our path. Just kind of skirt along the coast here, see if we can find maybe one more ship. It's a nice formation. Feel pretty safe about it. We would have gotten scouting information from some of these airplanes as well, so. Yeah, not really seeing anything. I really, I mean, I'm quite happy, by the way. What is this? No, that's a kill. I'm quite happy to engage <laughs> even light cruisers, or especially light cruisers with my heavy cruiser. With good visibility, yeah, we'll take it. Not great visibility, 23,000, but... With the invasion going on, you'd imagine that their aircraft are busy, you know, somewhat preoccupied defending the landing force. Wow, it's already not... It must be like... Okay, this is interesting. So now it's kind of like, yeah, we will go in a little bit more. Okay, or not. There was a battle cruiser. Okay, well, we did not want to face a battle cruiser, so we'll take our victory, and we'll leave. Not sure why the radar. I mean, it's the only tier one radar. It's not amazing. We almost got that guy. We had the those. That I mean, really, they had nothing. I don't know where the enemy. Yeah, the enemy fleet looks like it's in port. Unless it's up here. I don't think so. Hmm. 
Well, mission accomplished. That's what we wanted. And it's a, probably a good place to bring this episode to a close then. Uh, okay, make sure, make a mental note to look at my airbase loadout. But I'll say no to all for now. Okay, enemy fortifications are holding up our advance. It'll be occupies Greece in a blitzkrieg invasion. Greece? Speaking of having a lot of active force destroyers stopping the 15 enemy submarines. Yeah, 12 of them. They only have 12 now. <laughs> oh, boy. And we only sank one merchant ship. That's fine because we're focusing on fleet support. But anyway, still, yeah, it's obviously a disappointing turn, submarine warfare standpoint. We'll get over it. It wasn't that bad. And until the next episode, uh, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.